Hello there, folks. Uh, Welcome to a prehistory flash. What we got for you, we've got Iron Age Massacre in Iberia. I'm Michael Bott. And I'm Rupert Soskin. Welcome. Welcome. Yes, as Michael said, another news flash. But before we get stuck in, don't forget, do hit that subscribe button uh, down there for, uh, um, you know, updates and alerts when we're doing more stuff. And if you want to help us, make more of these things do uh, have a look at our patreon page as well there's plenty more bits and pieces on there that you'd be interested in um anyway uh, yes today we are going to the iberian peninsula this is an iron age um uh, event that's been excavated by a team from oxford university Mm. and good grief it's brutal (laughs) isn't it Yes, I'm so, sorry to be bringing you brutality, you know, and death, destruction. I mean, it's pretty unavoidable, really, with archaeology, I suppose, isn't it? <laughs> well, you know, it's it's again, it's one of the glories of the fact that modern tech is is revealing so many aspects of this that uh, that previously would have been difficult to extract. But uh, this, well, to all intents and purposes, it, it looks as if. Uh, an invading force and it would just you know it would have been a probably a small uh a relatively small number of uh, people either running in or you get the impression that maybe they even galloped in but the mayhem people who the beheadings uh limbs scattered there's a, a, a oh. young girl and uh, an, an adolescent girl who's um, whose arm was severed, and her arm was actually found uh, a couple, a few meters away from where her body fell. You're getting it's, carried it's, away with yourself. I, I, I am. It's yeah. just the brutality <laughs> yeah. of this is exasperating. It's like uh, every look, movie you've ever seen. I tell you what, I'm ju- just, I'm just going to put up the map so that uh, folk know I'll where that, we're talking yes. about. Yes, uh, as is said, uh, right up there uh, in the very north of modern Spain. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that was all. Just now we're located. Now you can unload. <laughs> <laughs> it's the town of the the town was La Jolla. Yeah. Um, and uh, the funny thing is that uh, when it comes to the Iberian Peninsula, that very little is known about the uh, the sizes of towns or communities and settlements that there would have been. It's mm. not like you know if you go a little bit later into Rome or or around and about that we knew about ta- or we know about towns that were long settled. In the Iberian Peninsula, we just don't know. Mm. Um, but uh, but certainly from the scale of this, but what the archaeologists are extracting from this, they think that it's a power struggle of of some sort. So obviously, people coming in and being that wantonly destructive, yeah. um, you know, th- there must be a reason for them coming in and being that indiscriminately brutal. Have you got the actual numbers in front of you of uh, you know, the scale of, of this? I mean, in the great scheme of things, it's not a vast number of for actual well, people. Well, but... in terms of uh, in terms of actual um, analysis of bodies, I mean, the, 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 they've uh, it's thirteen victims that they've actually analysed, um, and uh, and so they were. Um, uh, mainly adults, but uh, a, a couple of uh, adolescents and a young child as well. Um, yeah. So it, it's not a it's it, you know it's not a large number, but the thing is that it's the surrounding um, archaeology that is very telling uh, of the situation. So, for example. The bodies um, or the remains, some of the bones, for example, were only partially burnt. So it's not like a burial or a cremation where a body is completely buried. It looks as if these people came in, set light to houses uh, where uh, you know things might have collapsed and actually trapped people in burning buildings. 
-hmm. and then fires would have been put out. So the bodies aren't completely burnt. They just suffered or, or died by burning. Um, the adolescent girl whose arm was severed, I mean, she's still, they, they, there were five copper bracelets found on her severed arm, which, as I said, was a few metres away from her body. Yeah, indeed. Um, just one moment. I'm having a bit of... Uh finger trouble here as i anticipated <laughs> this is <laughs> the trials and tribulations of live television folks and while i mention that we're live um greetings to everybody that's uh, live with us and and watching quite a lot of the usual suspects i have to say well hello yeah, everybody <laughs> there's michael there's nick there's uh, lazzy otherwise known as matt there's david um uh, Michael, and, and probably a few others that I've uh, I, I've actually missed. Um, just one moment. Uh, yeah, tech is uh, is letting me down right now at this very moment in time. Let me just show well, you. You just mentioned that forearm, actually. Yeah. So let me just um, go there and uh, yeah, there uh, you go. yeah, another sad relic of. Um, mm. Um, nasty events going but, on in the past, but the, but the point that 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 illustrates very clearly is that this was this was not a thing of people coming in to rob or pillage, mm. you know, or, or they'd have stolen the jewellery. But no, that was all left. Ah, uh, yes. that was all left in place. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. One of the uh, one of the adults was decapitated, and they can tell from the uh, from the bone. That, that that they were decapitated in a single blow. Uh, <laughs> you know, this, this, is, this is one ugly event. It really is an ugly event. And uh, La Jolla was discovered in 1935, I do believe. And th this is in the news now because of the paper just recently published. You know, it's the first mm. time that the actual bones have been studied to establish um, kind of what happened. Um, so the, the, the actual paper was only released earlier this month, hence this gets its way into uh, prehistory flash, uh, as it yeah. were. Yeah. Yes. I think it, it's largely summed up, I think, by <laughs> Rick Schulting, uh, who uh, Rick was uh, uh, one of the main authors uh, of, the, uh, um, of the paper, and he said, this was not a battle between noble warriors. <laughs> no. Uh, no. <laughs> Fair enough. Um, yeah, the importance of this, though, is I think, you know, in, in the archaeologists involved, we haven't named them. Have you got some names in, in front of them? Because if you have, then of the, you know, it's uh, only of the fair the archaeologists? To, yeah. Um, I can give you the names of archaeologists. Uh, there's uh, Teresa Fernandez Crespo, uh, Javier Ordono, Armando Llanos, I think it's Llanos, and, yeah. and Rick Schulting. Um, oh, so it is, I didn't realise. Uh, okay. Did you not yeah, realise yeah. that Rick No, was, I didn't. Uh, <laughs> yes, 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 we know Rick a bit. Um, uh, so, yes, from uh, from Oxford University. So, um, mm, mm, mm. Yeah, okay. yes. Um, uh, so what I was going to... Oh, no, this is... Sorry, I won't complain. Not. But the, the, the point that the archaeologists are, are making is this is one of the few examples of interpersonal or you know, intercommunity violence that we have mm. coming out of archaeology. Um, examples are pretty rare, but it's, mm. we're beginning to get that feeling that mm, it wasn't all peace and harmony. Uh, you know, before the Romans, because the brutality has always been attributed to um, the Romans. And sure, there was some going on, you know, uh, you know, and, and in this area. Um, but this is a few hundred years before the Romans get here. Mm. This is inter, you know, uh, inter community of some sort uh, mm. violence. And the fact is that um, more of this kind of stuff is uh, is, is coming out. Um, uh, but it's still fairly scant. But it's pointing towards that consideration that things weren't always um, sweetness and light. Indeed, indeed. <clears throat> there you go. What more can we say? Uh, uh, well, that's a very good question. What more can we say? I tell you what. Um, just to uh, give you an idea 
of you know, and and this more than anything else probably um, uh, gives you the idea of of uh, there having been a massacre. Is this um, village layout? This is the actual layout of the village, and there you can see the um, locations of the remains that they uh, they found. Hmm. So. I think one thing that we haven't mentioned, Rupert, and that is um, the fact that uh, we've got... Uh, uh, <laughs> we were saying earlier, we're reminded of all those scenes in movies, you know, where mm. the baddies come in or, you know, ride into town with their swords slashing this way and that way and chickens flying out of the way and the women running yeah. and... I'm thinking, oh my God, that actually happened here, you know, yeah. because it was brutal. And we—I don't know if you mentioned the uh, decapitations and the uh, dismemberments yeah. that that took place, you know. So yeah. they were yeah. probably making a point as much as trying to. Uh, uh, yeah, I know, think so. I, I mean, there's out. even there's one one of the decapitations that um, that, that they haven't found the head. They've just found the Sorry, uh, the uh, upper. <laughs> they've just found the upper body that clearly mm. was severed in a single slice. Date. Uh, what is the date of this uh, event? We're talking about. Um, you know, you can't pinpoint it exactly, but you're talking about two fifty three hundred BC. There we go. Yeah. Okay. That sort of period. Yeah. 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 So that's it, really. I don't think there's that much else for us to um, uh, to, to say about that. Um, no, that's the purpose no. of these um, prehistory flashes to you know just, just tell you what's come you up, what's, what's in coming the news. up in the news, yes. and not witter on too much. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, anything yes, else to say about it, though, Rupert? Uh, I don't think so. I mean, it is it is the fact that, you know, it, it's not... OK, there are a lot of people who do think that uh, you go back uh, further and further in time and our ancestors were wonderfully spiritual people who wouldn't have said booze well, to a goose. Yeah, yeah. But um, but it's, it's the fact that whilst many people know that, you know, people have always been pretty brutal, it's the evidence for that that is yeah, that's yeah. scant. And this is another pretty gruesome aspect of Oh, uh, there was that, just the one more um, uh, detail from this, and that mm. is that they reckon they worked out which time of year um, that it it happened. Ah, uh, yes. Uh, shall I, I'll just read that from the paper. Um, yeah, go on. <clears throat> uh, it said that evidence that potentially places the attack as having occurred on a market day in late summer mm. or early autumn includes numerous vessels filled with recently harvested cereal grains, several hobbled pigs, i.e. they are restrained by ties to the legs, and a number of craft items and tools found on pathways and curbs immediately outside the entrances to buildings as though to advertise wares for sale. Indeed, mm. the timing of the attack could have been intentionally chosen to coincide with the moment of social aggregation, providing an opportunity to cause the highest number of casualties and greatest impact on the social, economic and political structure of the Baroness beyond the immediate locality. So, um, yeah, yeah, I'm sorry, we were in danger of missing that out, and I thought it was a, a, an important <laughs> detail. That, you know. Yes. Yes. So, well folks, no. well, yeah, we shall uh, say no more. Thank you so much. You know, it's because uh, we, we didn't announce this. We just kind of popped up with uh, half an hour to, uh, <laughs> uh, to, to, to go and, um, yeah, went there. So, yeah. um, thanks for watching. Um, uh, Watch hope you enjoyed space. that. There will be more. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, we'll see you the next time. So, ta folks. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.